Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm back with our monster review. We have the Mythic Slumster. I'll be reviewing it to level 130, rank 3. This Mythic was available for free in the most recent Maze Island. So I hope you guys actually grabbed it because it is one of the best in my opinion. Um, So you guys will see this monster in action and you'll learn everything you need to know about this monster in today's video. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, notifications on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so take a look at this. We have a rank 3 Slumster here ready to be reviewed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the stats in just a second uh we're gonna talk about the stats in just a second but uh, let's take a look at the traits so we're gonna start off with this first you have dodge area as your rank zero trait which is actually really good so basically it evades all area attacks so only single targets can affect them now if you pair this monster up with grag shock and centuris or another taunt monster it will be a great combo because you have the two dodge area with one taunt that's what actually won me grandmasters so yeah um great trait there then you have immune to control which is also one of the best traits to have so immune to control with dodge area that's actually pretty good it's a pretty good combo and then rank three you have stand region to all allies not just himself but to all allies in the beginning of the battle which is really really good now stat wise at rank three you have 202,931 life so here's the thing stat wise it's actually the lowest life stat in the game compared to other metropolitan monsters uh, he has the lowest life stat but in terms of speed he is actually the fastest monster in the game at the moment um, tied with uh, drobonaut speed with the metro metropolitan uh, exclusive pass monster drobonaut you know the one that trade disables and stuff like that um, so yeah uh, you know once again speed wise it is the fastest tied with drobonaut but then it has the lowest life stat in the game all right um, so it is a nature supporter all right so basically these are the skills that i went with and you can go ahead and of course go with them if you want to wait what is this yeah yeah okay no this isn't it i think i swapped some of the skills it makes sense yeah i swapped it for um for the dungeon i just noticed i'm like what the heck this isn't what i actually had before so let me go back to the skills that i actually had before so these are the four skills that i went with um, one of them is to the sewer, which removes all negative status effects and applies evasion to all allies, which is actually really good. And then you have follow me, which removes all negative status effects once again from one ally. And then you apply evasion with positive effect protection to that ally, which is really, really good. Now, imagine if this also give life regen. That would be really good, right? With increased healing. No, that's too much. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so here's the thing. This skill right here, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, same with the AOE cleanse with the evasion. This one also is really good. And then on top of that, you have take a juice, which is a heavy nature damage to one enemy, applies immune to control and stand regions to all allies. So if the enemy can't end up, you know, cleansing this, then guess what? They can't really hit you with freeze or stun or possession, corruption, you just name it, right? So you apply this, they can't really do anything against it unless they can cleanse it. Like for example, the dragon, you know, dragon can do it. Uh, but other than that, let's say you're facing a spectra, right? All you have to do, let's say for example in Team Wars, you just go with full speed on this monster, taking the first turn, either go with your AoE evasion because the AI will end up recharging against it. If not, you can just go ahead and apply immune to control. If that spectra has absolute zero, then um, even if he if she attacks, uh, only the burning will land and um, what's it called? The immune to control will save you and all your allies from getting mega frozen, which is really good. Then you have Package Bomb, which is actually one of the best skills to actually carry. So basically, just deal some type of damage, right? And then it removes positive side effects from one enemy and then from all enemies right after. So this right here, definitely one of the best to carry on. Um, so definitely go with this one. But on top of this, these other three I skill, skills I actually went with as well. And this is the skill set that I was using when I went for first place in Grandmasters. So that's that. You also have Giggle Water, which is a positive effect protection, and it gives 30% of stamina to all allies. So if you want to go with this, it's an AoE positive effect protection, apparently. I've never used this skill, by the way. But yeah, you give positive effect protection to all allies, and then you also give stamina regen 30%, which isn't really that bad, you know? Um, then you have Letter Bomb. Okay, so this is a package bomb. This is a letter bomb. Let's see what this one does. It removes positive status effects from one enemy. That's all. You might as well just go with the one that removes positive status effects from once and then from all enemies in case if there's a megaton. And then um, let's say there's just a megaton with Lord Nebatos on the side with pure panda for something. You know what I mean? Everybody will have evasion and then there will also be um, that megaton. So if you want to cleanse everything, you might as well go with pack package bomb. So this is a must have right here. You definitely want to go with this over letter bomb. Uh, then you have Indus 
surprise, which is actually a immune to control to an ally. I don't really recommend running that. Same with this, I don't really recommend running it unless you want that zero turn cooldown skill. Same with this, as this is also zero turn cooldown. So it looks like he does have some zero cooldown skills, but I still want to go with these four skills. Now, what I noticed is that all of his skills actually require quite a lot of stamina, but that's completely fine because remember, if you could get this monster to rank three, you have that stamina region to all allies, so that kind of backs it up. And on top of that, you can actually, let me see, no, not the trap. Um, well, actually, the trap, yeah, let's talk about trap, okay? So if you could actually get Slumster's trap, you can go ahead and regenerate that stamina, so that will help him out. And on top of that, let's say you can't get that, you can just go ahead and uh, carry on with the take a juice skill because this will actually help you out, get some more stamina so you can use more of your skills if that makes sense. Um, and then of course you also have this other skill that gives stamina to all allies, so if you, you want to go with that, it's up to you. Um, but anyways, so rune wise, let's go ahead and get into runes, but before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the relics. Relic. Okay, so relic wise, here's what I recommend going with. If you could get Slumster's Trap, right? Um, of course, give it. Why not? If you have Slumster's Trap, if you get two of them, that's even better. You might as well go with two Slumster's Trap. Now, if you don't have those, it's okay. You can go with one Hole's Trap. Now, if you don't have one Hole's Trap, uh, two Rotten Trap will also work out, okay? And then there's also Nebula's Trap that you can use if you don't have those. Same with Mantis Claws. Uh, but me personally, I'm going to go with two Rotten Trap here because why not? Uh, there should be both level 40s, so just like this. We give in two rod and strap just like that. And then for this, I'm going to go ahead and swap it. Now, one of the best ones to give would be face shield. Um, actually, if you're going to be pairing it up with another dodge area plus taunt, then I don't really recommend giving the face shield to this monster. You can actually end up giving it to your tank instead, your taunt monster. And then on top of that, you can either go with the med pack, or let's say health gene if you have health gene right i'm not sure where the heck that is at the moment but you could go with that um and on top of that if you don't want to go with any of those hidden ship hidden ship works okay you deal damage you also deal extra damage with hidden ship okay so that works out um i personally why not i might as well just go with that hidden ship there and because i'm going to give the face shield to my tank i'm going to be using that one taunt with two dodge area um what's called combo so of course we're going to give this monster our best rune setup which is going to be two speed runes, triple speed actually, but I don't have another speed rune here. So we might as well head over here and quickly find any monster with like a X speed rune. This one's being used and we're going to use that monster. Vampire Shell, give me your, give me your rune. Okay, cool. And we're going to go back to our monster here, Slumster, 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 just like that. We're going to go ahead and give in that last level 10 speed rune. So as you guys can see, now we have triple speed rune. And this is something that you want to give to this mythic. This is the rune setup I recommend giving. Um, but other than that, I think we reviewed almost everything about this monster. Now the ultimate, it's called My Little Hamsters. Which removes power status from all enemies. Disables traits on all enemies and applies mega corrupted. Not mega corrupted, sorry. Applies corrupted and bleeding to all enemies. Which is actually a really good ultimate, I've got to say. That ultimate is amazing. Um, but now that we went ahead and reviewed all of those stuff, let's go ahead and take it to PvP and we're gonna pair it up with um, our nice team, okay? And that team, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the team in just a second. So it's gonna be Crackshock, of course. And then on top of that, our one and only Hamster Monster. Where the heck is Hamster? Hamster, Hamster, Hamster. 130. Okay, it's all Slumster actually. Um, but here's what I'm going to be doing. Do I have a SX strength or speed rune? That's completely fine. I guess that works out. Maybe I can give you like an X. Uh, oh, actually, I kind of want to counter some soul drags and stuff like that in case we face any of those. So we might as well just go with that. It's also mutated with strength, so that will help us out. And then, of course, I'm going to rune you up. So we're going to be using this combo, which is actually pretty broken in my opinion. At the moment, if anybody is thinking about going for a legendary leader this season, or let's say for like at least top 5 or 10, you can definitely do so using something like that. Well, actually, let me get rid of this monster. Something like uh, this, okay? But of course, you can go ahead and swap these with um, some team speeds if you want. So one life rune should be enough unless you want to give in two life rune, it's up to you. This is something I had equipped for Grandmaster Duels. I'm going to see if this actually works out. If not, then of course we can go on and swap it. Um, but anyways, we're going to give in the face shield, like I mentioned earlier, to our tank there. And we're ready, okay? We are ready. So 
this is what I mean. This combo right here is actually pretty darn broken at the moment, okay? You can definitely go ahead and use it, and you can definitely go for the top in PvP at the moment. Even Grandmasters, okay? Even Grandmasters. This is the team that I used that got me first place. And you guys, I'm sure many of you guys watched the video already. If you haven't, make sure to do so. It was an amazing uh, video, and soon I'll actually upload, like, a... Uh, I'll see if I could do like a montage of like my Grandmaster Duel battles because I did record them, okay? I just have to edit them and upload it very soon. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Now look, Pandav just went ahead and used his AoE cooldown activation, right? Guess what? Only my Centaurus got affected, not these other two. These other two didn't get affected at all, which is really good. So what I could do is do Eternal Wings here, go with my double damage with Dodge Area. This monster got affected by cooldown activation, so we could just charge up. That's no big deal. And then... If we want some type of stamina regen, because, I mean, we already have stamina regen because of his status casters, thanks to that. But if we want to reset it, get back to that 3 turn, then we can go on and use that skill. Or, let's say, since they're going in right after, what I could do is give in this positive effect protection with evasion. And let's say if this monster had any negative status effects, it would also cleanse that. So take a look at this. We do this. Now, guess what? Okay, he actually used his you have too much skill because earlier he didn't do it. That's completely fine. Do whatever you want. It is completely fine. Now it's Gragshack's turn. Oh boy, look at Gragshack. Okay, so I could do Holy Sun, which removes positive side effects, and then it deals that damage. And on top of that, it is Shiv. Yeah, so it basically secures the kill. Now what we could do here is go with Take a Juice, Hidden Shiv on top of that, dealing that 60k damage, you know, securing the kill. Either you free to play, uh, Hidden Shiv, and then my facial, here we go. It kicked in, and it just healed me, so that's really good. So now they're going to have to cleanse it again. I'm going to have to charge up here. We are going to go with... I could do Spear Retribution. You're going to come back, right? Okay, can we eliminate you? We can. Bam. Hey, okay, let's just eliminate you. Uh, this room is all negative status effects and applies all of that. Let's say I want to get rid of the bleeding. I could just go ahead and use this. You know, here we go. I could do Eternal Wings for next turn. You just recharge against it. And then I can heal by 50%. Take a look at that and then if i wanted to go with evasion again i can do that uh but look at the stamina not the stamina look at the turn orders so i'll just use it later so i can save myself from that now what are you running med pack or hidden ship oh yeah so here's what i can do i apply evasion to all, all my, to all my allies most importantly to the taunt now whatever let's say if he did end up attacking it would have dealt zero damage now i can heal back to 100 percent with a 100 percent damage mirror and then from here, I can just basically continue attacking and do my thing. I'm going to charge up here. Eternal Link, so we get some damage boost. Um, I don't think that'll really help out, so let's just go with this for fun. We'll do this for fun. Hit and shift kick then. We can remove all negative status effects or remove positive status effects. We get rid of that regen. We deal some extra damage there. And then we heal again, back to 100%, or almost 100%. Now, you can't do anything to me because I just applied that evasion with positive effect protection. Um, and you know what? I'll just go ahead and, I guess, auto this. I kind of want to auto it. Actually, let's do this. Let's just hope he doesn't heal again. And then next turn, I can hit him very heavily. Now, look, I don't have evasion again, but I could apply that. So then, whatever he does... Oh, he uses healthy salad. Of course he uses healthy Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just do Retribution skill. We'll do that for fun. Oh, we get our ultimate. Might as well use it because why not? Unfortunately, the things don't land. But that's completely fine. And then I'll just go ahead and eliminate you. The reason why it took so long there is because that was a triple life root tester. Yeah, that was a triple life root tester. That's why. So go ahead and start unlocking that. And let's get into another match. Carlos from Supernovas. Okay, what you got? Oh, yeah, you see this quite a lot, don't you? <laughs> so, against this, the dragon can't do anything, okay? It really can't. It, it really can't. Now look, I let the dragon take in the first turn. Whatever you want to do, go for it, okay? Remove father side effect. Oh, you went with Crow the dragon this time. Guess what? That's not going to affect my slump turn monster because I have dodge area, okay? And even if it did, guess what? I have that immune to control trait. Now I can remove all negative side effects and apply that positive effect protection. Or I could just remove positive status for everybody. No, no, no. Let's just go ahead and remove all negative status effects and go with the positive effect protection. Okay? And then from here, we could do like spare of lights. Hopefully that's enough. Yep. We eliminate the tank fully. And now we can get our 100% damage mirror. You might end up cleansing me here. Yep, it's okay. 
completely fine. Corruption Lord, that's also fine. Now my face shield kicks in, right? Now look, it's Slumster's turn. We used the follow me skill already, but we still have the sewer, which was all negative side effect. So if I want to get rid of that corruption, I can do that. But taking a look at the turn orders, we're not going to do that just yet, okay? Uh, look, because in the turn orders, my Slumster goes on before Santeria, so we could do that later on. Let's just do this for fun. Hidden shift kick then. And then here we can do something like this. Get rid of Lord Nebatos. And now it's just a small turn. What is he going to do? Face shield, you just activated it again. Why? Okay. So what I can do here. Come on. Put a sewer. Then go ahead and heal back to 100%. So you guys see how nice this team is, right? Really good. Really, really good. My little hamsters. Oh, we get the ultimate. So this room is positive status effects. Create the stables. And then corrupts all the enemies. Just like that right there. Corruption and also bleeding. Yeah, I forgot about that. And the bleeding just eliminated him. <laughs> but yeah, the two dodger co combo will work very well with this monster. Oh, we get a tier 6. That's awesome. That, that's just awesome. Like, it's just beautiful to see. Alright. But yeah, once again, if you want to pair this monster up with anything, it will be a dodger area with a taunt. That's how it works out. You can also do motor drag if you want. We have Mojo Drag, that also works out. If you don't want to do Mojo Drag, you can do any other Haunt Monster. Um, one that's still viable up to this day, in my opinion, that you can actually use would be Erder. But Erder is not as good as, what should I call it? The monster that we just used, Santeris, because it can't hold face shield. Okay, uh, but if you have Erder, that works out. Armor Claw, I wouldn't really recommend using Armor Claw unless... Well, I don't think that'll really work out. Uh, Erder is actually better, in my opinion, as a tank if you want to run that. But yeah, Armor Claw, I, I don't know about that one. Um, but any other taunt monsters, like, for example, the Cuberion monster, right? That was on the maze a while ago. That works well. Go ahead and pair it up with this Mythic because it has Artifact trait and um, it has some nice skills as well. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Gens. Monster review on this Mythic um, Hamster. What, what is it? What's the name again? Slumster. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. And that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.